European MMA was thought to be behind the Americans, but the truth is we've been fighting for a long time. I mean, even look at history. There are so many wars in Europe. Those guys are all fighters. So the coach of the European team is our 145-pound interim champion, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor! Oh, he tagged him in the left. This kid came out of Ireland and burst onto the scene. Looking to finish the fight. There's a lot of skilled fighters in Europe. It's a good thing to see that their journey, and I'm happy to be here. And um, I look forward to giving them some advice on how I would approach this situation, and just sit back and watch it unfold. It's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a good thing. Uh -huh, man. Uh -huh, man. It's happening it's for that. Yeah, the, the first fight to get into the house is probably the hardest because I have to fight Europeans, and they're all, you know, yeah. good guys. Yeah. Yeah. The Americans are really. Whoever didn't make into the year, see, you know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, B team. Let's go, Washington. Living in Ireland is great. Uh, I like to think of it as well. Um, I was born in Russia as a person, and uh, I was born as a fighter in Ireland. High and flowy, Artem. Yes, and a left kick after that. And a left kick. Oh, beautiful body shot. And a ball. Let me put it in here. Patience. And a ball. Get in position. And a Just keep the hands flowy and be patient. He had him shelling up a lot. It was a good exchanges. Oh! Oh, yeah. boy! Medi caught Artem with a kick to the face in the first round. This fight was awesome. I mean, I, I love Artem's style, and Baghdad was a very tough fighter. I honestly believe that this fight should have gone to a third round. It's, it's always tough when you let the judges decide your fate. A majority decision for your winner, Medi. Third round should have been the third round. All right, both. Great fight. That was a great fight. Don't be proud, but I guess. That was a great fight. Should have went to the fourth round. Could have gone either way in the second. You got that takedown towards the end. It, at least should have seen a third round. Yeah, of course, I'm, I'm disappointed from my teammate, but you know, it is what it is. We will carry on, I feel, a performance like that. And the fact that he steps in, no matter what, he, he will lace up the gloves one more time, I feel, you know. He, he will definitely get a run out.
Gather round, boys. Just got a real quick one and I'll be out of your hair. I wanted to give the coaches the opportunity. If you could bring back one fighter, who would you bring back? I asked these two, if you could bring back one guy, who would you bring back? Johnny, Artem, congratulations. Welcome back. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks, Connor. All right, I think it's perfect. I wanted Artem back on the team anyway. He deserves to be back on the team. Stuff. That's good, guys. It's a big pull. I do a crazy fight versus Artem. I won, then he come back. I say, wow. All this fight for this, but it doesn't matter. For me, it's my sport, it's my life, it's my job. You're not wearing your high heels today? High heel dress shoes? No, they're python skin. Python? I hunted them myself. <laughs> you don't even know what python is in America. Something, no. It's something sewer. your little bum ass couldn't afford, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, you think? Yeah, I do think. You're wrong. That escalated quickly. <laughs> We've been going at it. We have a thing going, man. Don't talk about my shoes. <laughs> But I think you should man up and fight him now. He, you, you brought him out of college. You said you brought him up and then Dwayne came in, took him from you, and now he's winning the world championship and you should man up now and, uh, and get that fight, I feel. That's, that's your only fight, really. We'll see. Uriah took him out of school, built him up. Dwayne comes in, takes over and then takes the champion. I, I told the truth. I told the truth. I see these comments going back and forth and I, I realize, man, Uriah is an absolute pussy. <laughs> Recognize the enemy. Recognize the enemy, that's enemy. what I will say. Stop being a pussy. Man up, that's, that's the fight to make. You ain't got nothing left. That's the only fight you have. I mean, what else has he got? Champ does what he wants. Thank you, I do do whatever I want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've never touched that belt in your life. I always fell short. <laughs> Gigi's here with us. Here with us. He ain't with you. Where's the little weasel? Has he got Dwayne with him? Him and Dwayne, come over, take the show, take over the show. <laughs> they take over your gym, they'll take over the show too, I'm sure. That's how people do to you. They just run you over. Loyalty is a strong thing for me, and I respect loyalty a lot. But I absolutely despise, uh, despise people who are disloyal, people who bite the hand that feeds them. I cannot relate to that in any way, shape, or form. What, are you gonna do something about it? What are you gonna do? I'll do something about it. Do something then. Do something then, you Do something then, you Do something then, you Do something, you little twerp. You little twerp. You'll do nothing, you little twerp, yeah? You'll do You'll do sweet full dog. Take care of your underwears. I'm gonna you, man. What? Dwayne, love you. sleeps with he sleeps with him, yeah. you're stealing him, happened. bringing him in here. Yeah. Recognize what's going on. You know what I mean? You're looking like a pussy doing that. Ah, uh, there's a little snake in the grass right there. What's up, hey, little boy. How's it going? Are you lost? Definitely lost. Unfortunately, I was back getting some coffee, and, uh, you know, of course, I walk away when Connor wants to decide to talk crap about me, you know, and try to get underneath uh, Uriah's skin. You're going to ditch a guy that came. Dwayne came in and helped Paz for a week, <laughs> and you went and ran off with him. It's it's this Took, took you out of college, hey, gave, you, gave you away. Hey, I recruited this man guy out of high school. Yeah, and he ditched you, so man up. Man up and f***ing nice. He's each with Dwayne. And what, what did I tell you? If each with him, he's the enemy, that's what? it. I'm not worried about what you got to say, man. You're never going to touch I'm that, you champ. little twerp. Dude, I'll come to your ass, dude. You're never going to touch that. Please. You little short ass bitch. You got the real belt, why we want a fake belt? Yeah, I don't need your fake ass belt. I tell you who doesn't have it, you're right. The guy who brought you up. From us, we just kept quiet and just Connor, you know, did all the talking. They were like a oh, bunch of hyenas. Yeah, yeah. Man, 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 just screaming and shouting. Yeah. And he was just like lying, cutting them all down. Sometimes when you tell people the truth, they don't want to hear it. But they don't like hearing it. And then they get really defensive. It was their verbal battle. We had nothing to do with it. So we just, we had his back if needed be. But other than that, we know he can stand up for himself. 
After the fight, we gave Julian his nice shower. I'm next up, and hopefully I'm in there getting showered down to celebrate the win as well. The Americans were doing some weird celebration thing. It is probably the worst way you could be wasting noise. I want to be remembered as the guy that was at least smart enough not to wear a stupid bandana with a penis drawn on it. You know, Lance and TJ went out. We went out till like five in the morning in that Last outfit. night? With the, no, two, two nights, nights ago. ago. Aye. With those outfits, no shirts. It was a good time. <laughs> Vegas is on watch. They have a lot of clubs out here, I hear. <laughs> they told I'll me. drop your name next they time uh, my buddy wants to go. <laughs> Uh, get, a, get a good table. Get a good table. Uh, that's good. I knew that. I could tell you, that. You, you get double the tips with two asses. <laughs> <laughs> From team Faber will be Jenkins. Yeah, let's get it, baby. From team McGregor will be Artem. Let's go. When Dana said to me, you're gonna get a second chance to go back into the house. I mean, I was very happy, but I said it to him right away. I said, I don't think I deserve this. It's gonna be a knockout 100%. Of course, I will have a stronger bond and a more deeper connection with Artem. I'm not gonna fake it and say I don't and it's all ego, because it's not. I was here for Artem. I wanna get the knockout so Dana gets his checkbook out. <laughs> 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 I know Artem since many, many years ago. He walked into the gym ready to fight, competitive, wanted to test himself against the best. He kept showing up and showing up and showing up, and we had many, many fights in our, in our rise up. And he's a solid, solid fighter. He came up the hard way. And he has experienced every, every situation imaginable inside that octagon. So he is full of confidence right now. His confidence is sky high. And he will secure the KO, no doubt. Congratulations, but on your outfit. <laughs> it's cashmere. It, it feels cashmere. so damn good on my skin. Uh, to the scale, please, Artem. Artem is the type of striker who is absolutely fearless. This guy literally walks in there, will stand toe to toe with you, and drop bombs until he knocks you out. To the scale, James. Woo! Go, guys. Good boy. Gonna be a, this is going to be a stiff KO. He's like, he's a bad leaner. And he's like, so, like that, that's him. That's how much he leans. I saw the success of our gym when Connor made it to the UFC, and that opened my eyes. What's up? I'll see you out there, brother, yeah? Ah, nice. I'm a fist. I'm a fist. I'm a fist. Let's go get a play with the Let's go, Alfred! All you want to do. Go in there and hit him as hard as I can as much as I can. Promise you a good fight. A Russian Irishman always keeps his word. <laughs> yes!
Atom's fight against Jenkins was a solid performance by Atom. Artem went in there and destroyed Jenkins. He hit him with some big punches, bombs he hit him with. Stop, stop, stop! Winner by TKO due to strikes and moving on. Artem. Everybody knows that Artem Lobov belongs in this place. Yes! <laughs> Who's yeah. around KO, baby? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's a performance right there. That's a dominated, that's that's a, K, a bad, bad KO yeah. that they're stopping him with. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on up here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tom. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, boys? We fought great through the uh, through the preliminaries, so we threw you guys a pool party. All right. So listen, party your asses off, have a blast, and get ready for the quarterfinals. DJ, hit it. The winner has to kiss the loser. Dana recognized that these fighters were getting frustrated, brought a lot of nice friendly women in to have fun with them, and that's what happened. We had fun today. The way that these guys have fought from getting into the house through the entire preliminaries, now we've got a little bit of a break here before we go to the quarterfinals. All right, guys. Everybody bring it in. It's time for the cameras to go. I definitely won this more than Chris does. Chris, you better be ready to die in that cage, because I am. this round. Beautiful shots. Beautiful shots. Chris started out pretty well in the first round. 
I would say he probably won the first round, but it was it was definitely a close round. Chris came out and done what he had to do. He kept the energy. He was trying to push and press. But Adam has been dealing with this his whole career. Artem finally dialed it in and landed that big, crazy left hand that he throws. Artem just, just puts it to him and finishes the fight. Chris turned out to be a very tough guy. He kept pressing forward, kept throwing. He was able to take some serious shots. Uh, but it's all fun and games until your jaw crumbles under the Russian hammer. Artem. <laughs> versus Julian. Let's, let's sit him down now, Arthur. Christmas is over. No more presents. No more games. Let's sit him down. <laughs> Julian has an unusual style. He moves a lot. That kind of style can be very frustrating. Artem. Is fighting Julian now. Julian's light on his feet. He backs off a lot. He plays that game well. He has beat the two of our guys with that approach. But Martin will track him down and KO him. That's the shot. Off the kick, left hand, right hook. So much power in him. That's that's all I want him to react off them teeps. Yeah. Whoop. Adam has been around with me. We've been on this journey a long, long time. Many, many wars and so many areas of the globe we fought on. So many little small shows for no reward whatsoever. It's been a long, long road. You know, you see all these things, but you still find it hard to believe. You just, it just feels like I'm living a dream right now. And now I get to be part of that dream. I get to go out in front of millions of people and perform, showcase my skill. <laughs> Pleasure, Daisy going in there. How are you feeling? Good? Nice and loose. Artem, in his previous fight, he went out with a little bit of lack of respect for his opponent. He felt like his opponent didn't deserve to be there, so I want to send Artem into this one switched on. I never think about winning or losing. I love fighting for fighting. I don't worry about points. I don't care about the points. Points are just an opinion. An opinion of three judges. Connor's training partner and you could tell that they came up with a good game plan coming into this fight. He overextended on a right hand. Arthur banged the left hook. First round KO. How they brought me back into the house and I believe I proved that Dana's decision's right. I got three KOs, no one else got a KO, so I definitely added some excitement. I represented my countries with pride and honor. My flags are covered in blood of my enemies and I will enter the final fight ready to kill and prepared to die. Peace! He's been with me a long time, especially recently with this journey. We've went on the world tour together. He came out here to Las Vegas with me. He's been in Las Vegas with me the past four months. Money shot. It's air shot, that one. Yeah, yeah, that's air it is. shot. Congratulations, yeah. brother. Congratulations. My man. Artem has been a huge surprise. The guy gets a second chance to come back in, and he knocks out three guys. Saul is a big, powerful featherweight who can just toss you around, and if he gets that top position, his ground and pound is very, very good. So Saul lied on his visa application 
and now has problems getting into the country and cannot fight in the finale for the ultimate fighter. I got a call from the UFC asking if I would be willing to step in to replace Saul and fight Artem in the final, and I'll be honest, I was shocked. This is an interesting fight. Ryan gave the Europeans a lot of trouble. Either Artem's gonna get in there and catch him with big punch and knock him out, or Ryan Hall's gonna slide in there, pull off a slick submission and win for the American team. America versus Europe, grappler versus striker, very intriguing fight. A new Ultimate Fighter winner will be crowned when Team McGregor's Artem Lobov takes on Team Faber's Ryan Hall. And Artem Lobov has massive power. Every fight is the same for him in terms of game playing. Since I left Las Vegas, I've been training non-stop. I love living in Dublin. To be part of SBG means everything to me. They are my family. Anytime I fell, they were there to pick me back up. Artem will walk forward, Artem will implement his game plan. And our boy Artem is going to come out with the win. To win the Ultimate Fighter would mean everything to me. I want to be the first one to ever do it for Russia and Ireland. It is the Ultimate Fighter Lightweight Fight as Ryan the Wizard Hall battles Artem the Russian Hammer Lava. And here is the no nonsense Artem Lava, born in Russia, now calls Dublin, Ireland home. He went on to stop James Jenkins, Chris Gritzmacher, and Julian Erosa, all via strikes, to reach this final. Ryan Hall is 30. Hall is one inch taller. Both men weighed in at 155 pounds. Lobov, the more proficient striker, but on the wrong end of the reach equation tonight. Artem, the Russian hammer, Lobov! All right, gentlemen, we've been on the rules. Protect yourself at all times. It's like a food fight. Touch gloves and let's do this. And actually giving a few private lessons to Artem Lobov prior to this fight. He just started these rolls to takedowns, being on the ultimate fighter. Now looking for a heel hook. A really good start for Ryan Hall. Now look at the heat for innovating. This guy is so different. This kid is just so slick on the ground. Look how he took the bat. Lobov doing a really nice job of relaxing. He's trying to dig that chin, pull the arm down. He's defended it so far. He is extremely cerebral, and, and I like what Lobov is doing. Now. You know, if he tries too hard to escape, he's going to give an opening to Ryan Hall. He may just concede position here. He's circling away from the fence now, so he has more room to work. Smart. Now he's going to elbow and hit. He's going to see if he can get Lobov to extend one of those arms to block. So a strong first round for Ryan Hall. Artem Lobov with some work to do when we come back. And don't be afraid to skip it out. You can skip in, but you can skip out as well. Let's keep the feints going. You see that shot? It's going to come from a mile away this time. Keep those feints going. When he shoots in, skip away. You hear Frost Abbey told Ryan Hall, look, set the kicks up, fake the roll. You're going to see the roll come from a mile away. More level changes, level changes. There's the roll. And nicely done by Lobov to escape. I'm talking to Lobov. He, he, oh, this is a big mistake by Lobov. He gets sucked into the guard. And nice job by Artem to extend, be patient, and escape. Nicely done. Again, Hall able to pull him into his guard. And the problem here is normally when guys are in guard, they're losing the round. But Lobov has not opened up and thrown any strikes yet. At the same time, we've got to see a little more output from Hall. You just never know with these judges. Be active off your back. You're going to choose to be there. Nice hammer fist there from Ryan Hall, right on cue. And this is where he's dangerous. He starts chaining things together, going for a heel hook now. Good defense so far from Lobov. See how they score round one and how they score this round two. I love the kicks. He needs, he's going to be desperate now. Yep. Double, single, or roll. Yes. Nice level change there by Ryan Hall. He cannot afford to stand in front of Lobov. Nicely done by Ryan Hall. Inside heel hook now. Nice work by Lobov. Back to his feet, only for a second. And again, climbs on him like a spider monkey. Job to get Lava back down. He has massive, massive power in his hands. And now's the time to open up and let him fly. 
He's got to defend this leg lock attempt again from Ryan Hall. And again, very nicely done just to stay attached to him, then jumps up and takes the back. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Ryan Hall out grappling Artem Lava. Ryan Hall appears to be a few seconds away from realizing a dream and a six-figure UFC contract. A little celebration there. Now let's take a look at some of the action from Ryan Hall. Just relentless pressure. Look how he grabs the back there and just went position to position well and made it very difficult for Lobov to create any space and escape him. Just a really difficult style to fight on short notice. And now, the lightweight winner of the Ultimate Fighter, Ryan the Wizard Hall. You know, Artem is an incredibly tough opponent. He could knock my teeth out with one shot, and I know it. A near perfect performance. You earned it, ladies and gentlemen. The new Ultimate Fighter, Ryan Hall.